Hey guys, good afternoon. It's RG here, live from the studio, and we're super excited to be able to come live for you guys again today with another fun project that are gifts for the holidays. Um, and as you guys know, we're going to do nothing but gifts for the holidays the rest of the month. And I am a little Elfie inspired, mainly because of the Elfie massacre that I created last night. Um, I don't know how many of you still practice the Elf on the Shelf, um, but I certainly placed the Elf in not the most safe spot and needless to say it was not the best idea since Axel thought it was a chew toy so um, in efforts to uh, kind of wish our old elves a very happy journey home uh, you know I decided to go elfie status today but I, I'm gonna create a fun little tag for some gifts and I don't know how many of you love to leave gifts for your children or for your family members or for your co-workers um, throughout the holidays but I am certainly one of those folks that likes to create handmade gifts for all of my peeps uh, when I see them or if I get to see them more often and so I've lately been on this cookie fix where I've been creating and decorating cookies. And so I'm going to grab some of that cookie fix and I'm going to add it to some RG stamping stuff. And then I'm going to combine the two to make a fun little treat idea to be able to share with your friends and your loved ones throughout the holidays. So let's go ahead and switch to our top view. I'm going to be using two of our sets here. Winter Wonderland. Yes. And real quick, I just wanted to mention that they're loving your elf. Hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, again, in solidarity of our poor elves that are no longer with us. Um, all right. So I'm just going to stamp a little bit here, try things out. Again, some of these things are not necessarily, they're not, I shouldn't say not necessarily, they're not at all pre designed. I'm just kind of, kind of wing it. Um, because I kind of have an idea in my head. You guys keep. My CSDs keep, keep me way too busy outside of the, outside of my stamp room. And so I kind of have to improvise by the time I come for my live. I just grab a few things and we're like, okay, let's go. So I'm going to do a couple of these. Now I'm using Winter Wonderland. And of course you can color with pencils or markers. I think I'm gonna use markers for this one. And as I mentioned, the idea in my head's fairly cute. Let's see if it actually pans out. All right, so I just used black taffy to Go ahead and stamp those. I'm going to grab one of my deep reds and I'm not going to go psycho killer crazy with the coloring. I'm just going to bring in a little bit of color. You know, sometimes I like to leave the white edges. I know it's like Copic Massacre, but it's definitely the way that I think it pops a little differently. I should kind of get closer so you're not seeing the top of my Elfie hat. Um, and so I'm just going to come in and I want some of that white to peek through. So not all the way cycle killer. I want to know if you're going to use the, the scanning cut to cut them out. No, but you know I should. <laughs> Wait, she's like, oh no, are you going to cut those by hand or what? I was going to cut them by hand. <laughs> Is there a problem with that, sis? <laughs> I think she's at our first She's like, like, oh, oh no, no I'm not going to watch you cut those all out by hand. Really? Nobody got time for that. Nobody got time to watch you cut those out by hand. I can try my scanning cut. Yeah. Joy, 
Joanne Miller says hello, and she wants to thank you for um, the stamps. You're welcome, Joanne. Super excited. All of our club subscribers from from the first, you know, our original, I guess I should say, club subscribers all received a little extra love this month because some of the sets that they originally uh, played with as digital downloads were turned into stamp, and so we wanted to share the love. Except for the True Tribe one, that one was a an extra little funsy. For all the love and support. Love and support. So as you can see, I'm leaving some of the edges white. I like to do that. I feel like it creates a little bit more dimension. Today has been nonstop, guys, ever since this morning, just kind of sitting on my desk upstairs and working, 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 of course, because we're getting ready for for a few changes to the site and and then working on my commissions for my CSTs. So, yeah, this is a nice little break. <laughs> Is it five yet so I can go create something? Is it I five know, yet really, so I can go create something? Like, can we get off our, our chairs? And yeah, <laughs> it was definitely one of those days. I don't want to deal with this computer anymore. Give me stamps. <laughs> All right, sorry guys, you guys have to watch me do this. Lame. That lane. I love to watch it color. As you yawn. What? We love to watch it color. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Thanks for throwing me under the bus, but I'm not yawning because of that. I'm just tired. <laughs> From How looking rude. at the computer. <laughs> Nap time. Nap time. <laughs> All right. So, should we try to scan and cut this, or should we cut it out by? No, hand? let's do scanning. Wow. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and grab my platform. We're gonna see if my sis is right. We're gonna go ahead and scan and cut these in. Um. Hopefully, it just picks up the outside version of that. That way you guys don't have to watch me cut it and I can move on to the next thing. So, but if you don't have a scan and cut, then of course you would just cut these out by hand. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see if I can create something fun here. I need to change my blade because of course I'm on Usually I just have it saved for my Create and Capture Club. Oh, we're seeing your, your head. Oh, my elf, elf head. All right, so we're gonna start the scanning process on that. And Patricia said this is better than watching brake lights. Uh, she was doing that on... Are you guys singing? No. <laughs> Oopsie. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm just scanning this through. Maybe I'll zoom out so it doesn't look like nothing's happening. Um, all right. So it kind of, ooh, it found them all. Fancy smancy. <laughs> I don't get to cut these out. Oh. All right, I am gonna go a negative. So should I go six or seven? I'm gonna go seven. I'm gonna go for a pretty close cut. Let's see how bad it goes. Here we go. All right, 
right, so while that's cutting out, I have already pre-cut some circles that I'm gonna use as tags. And the reason why I cut so many is because I'm making three. I have three boys left at home and I typically like to leave them with a little treat in the morning, like a little Christmas adventy type thing. So I'm gonna use the Merry Christmas. Did I do this right? Maybe I went to Psycho Killer. Did it work? Yeah, but I think it went. I, negative seven is pretty close. Look. <laughs> Too close. You were a little daring there. Yeah. Oh, snap, because I don't have an outline. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, loser. Okay, I forgot because I'm so used to cutting with the outline. So now I went inside my cut line, which is actually the outline image. Duh. All right. All right. Total amateur here. Give me a minute. It was Jen. So she squirreled me. A what not to do. That's a what not to do because then you end up with teeny tiny little poncetias. But it might work. Give me a sec. If not, I need another one of these. <laughs> so I totally, see what I mean? I'm, I created the outline version for my digital downloads and I was so used to it. And I was like, oh look, it, yeah. Anyway, um, but it still might work. We shall see. All right, so I'm going to be using that, and then I'm also going to be using my large circle here. In hopes that I can get a nice little round. That's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp these. So ultimately, I'm going to want this guy here, but probably a little bit lower. I should grab my Stamparatus. Do I have one here? Or are they oh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these over to the Stamparatus just because I'm going to stamp them a few different times and all exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that over just to make sure I've got the impression that I need. And I think it'll work swell, swell. I should have just left them. I'm gonna stamp these again because I have a feeling those are gonna be too small for what I need. So we'll just blame Jen for that one. And I am gonna come back and add a little bit of color Thank you. They're like, do we have to see this again? Sorry, guys. That was a total amateur moment because you know how your brain automatically does the things that you normally do? I never cut out my images on the scan and cut unless they're outlined. So well, somebody said here, what's a good thing that we like to watch you color? I know. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Yeah, so. <laughs> Jen's like, oops, try again, sorry. <laughs> but that just kind of shows how we don't necessarily utilize all of the different tools that we have because I never even thought, I don't usually, well, technically I like to cut it out by hand, quite honestly, but 
But again, I could have used it this entire time <laughs> to cut out my images. And you would have been almost done. And I would have been done by now. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I might as well just cut them out by hand now. Just kidding. Again, I'm leaving the edges a little white. Actually, the reason why we did that it was just in case for those of you who tune in late, <laughs> you get to see mm, is that why this all over again I received some some thoughts an image from Christine earlier today and she's like look what I'm doing with this um, very sweet and I'm like dang that's kind of cool and of course they're like merging images or overlapping them and I'm like gosh I'm really old school because I you know I don't do those kind of things I I like I like this regular stuff but anyway so we're not gonna go on negative anything <laughs> We're going to just uh, go ahead and scan these. All right. So now we're going to go back to this. I'm going to grab my stamparatus here. And I'll create a grid for it. Just so that I know where to place every single one. Hopefully. Alrighty. Oh no. Something's weird. Hold up. I mean, if you just want me to cut them for you, I can cut them for you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let Miss G try to... Um, all right. So while she's fixing that for me, I'm going to go ahead and grab... So my sentiment's going to go here. And that means I'm going to bring this guy right about there. All right. So we're going to ink that up using Rich Cherry. I seem to have a soft spot there. And I'm probably going to do this a couple of times just to get a nice deep red color. All right, so we've got our red. I'm going to do that a couple of times. Actually, I might be able to hold that. Couple more times. I'm going to do three of these guys. Perfect. 
pretty. All right, so then I'll bring them back. And once I decide where that's gonna go, I'm gonna bring in my sentiment. I am very jingly every time I <laughs> you move, around. move around. So I'm going to bring in the Merry Christmas. And that's going to go in Black Taffy. Gorgeous. Look how pretty. Love that one. So I'm going to do that a couple times here. One more time. All right, so we've got our three tags. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, let's see if this works. We've got our three tags and we're going to grab our poncetias. Now my poncetias are going to be my little Mickey ears because of course I have Mickey cookies and I want them to kind of lay down here as Mickey ears. When in doubt, pop it out. we're gonna pop these guys out to give us a little extra pep in our step. Just a little bit. That would be out. Let me make sure. And what's so cute, guys, is I don't know where it's at, but we have the because we could have we could have done a mini. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness, I want it. Mm -hmm. I want to do one now. Okay, next step. Um, we could have done a mini. I don't know what, I think I used it at the last video and now it's what? not here, the polka dotty oh. one. So anyway, guys, you know I'm gonna have to do a mini at one point and show it to y'all. Cause it is too cute. Already, I'm gonna add a little bit of splattering. Wait till you see that how I finish it off. Mm -hmm. It's super cute. Now, of course, my tags are gonna probably end up somewhere on the floor because all the boys are gonna want is the cookies. But we all know how cute they were. <laughs> they Be were super cute. Before the boys got to them. So I'm gonna bring in some splatter. And now we can make more. <laughs> now that we know how. <laughs> Want to? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Our viewers are saying a lot of stuff, but I can't really do their comments right now. Why? <laughs> because I'm busy. Uh oh. Cutting. Uh, let's see. Someone said, do you do you have a little tune? You ink your you ink your stamps. Oh, because you're like that's that like you're making a beat when you were stamping. Oh, you know sometimes I do tend to do that. You're like dun, 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 oh man, you. I smeared it. <gasps> see, because I touched it. Why are you touching it? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> that wasn't me. I think it was the holiday um, skirt. <laughs> So that one got smeared. smeared. Because I brought the ribbon in and it just kind of. So I'm just drying my splatter before it makes more of a mess. You guys get the idea, right? Super adorable. Let me kind of show you. So this one's still drying. Hopefully this one's dry enough. I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna grab a monster punch. I call this a monster punch. And I'm gonna create a hole and I might decide to go psycho killer and create a multiple because I might need my own little Mickey punch there and I'm gonna create that slit just a little bit at an angle like a little bit at a so do you see so I created a little Mickey slip because I wanted to fit on my tag, uh, um, so for my cookie. That's super cute. So I've got my cookie already wrapped in a cutie patootie little cello, um, and I want to bring that in to my cookie wrapper. Mm -hmm. And just kind of bring in some of those cutie patootie fixins. Um, and I've got another little bowie, bowie thing that I'm going to add to this, but check it out. I've got another stray back here. There we go. And they end up super adorable with the kitty patootie. So Ms. Gail would like to know when are we going to show them how to stamp on cookies? I know, that's going to be my next little showcase for you because I need to show you how to bring the, I'm going to kind of put it on the side a little bit because I don't want to hide my cookie. But I'm also going to add a little bit of kind of seam binding here. Jen says, cute, was that a Mickey punch? I think she missed how you did the little Mickey. A Mickey punch, oh, no, no, it's just a regular circle hole puncher. I just punched it three times to get that Mickey shape. Wait a minute. Um, so I've got adorable little, just a double bow that I'm going to add to the top here. But I'm also going to add one of these Carpe Diem Disney clips or Disney-like so clips because I think they're super adorable. Yeah, Jen, she missed it. She's like, I might have been making my coffee and I missed it. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> But she did say brilliant, Richard, brilliant. Just super cute. Um, and again, it's a cutie patootie little tie-in. No pun intended. Let me see if I can grab that ribbon. So they're asking if that's a stamped cookie. 
This is not a stamped cookie. This is, um, well, partly it is, but then you kind of hide all the stamping. So basically what we do, or what I've done, is I use the, um, the stamps to create my shape or my stencil, outline. my outline. And then I go back and I fill it with royal icing. So it's pretty cool because then, you know, you can take your Ooh, stamp. I say on Thursday we show them. Do you guys want to see us Thursday? Do you guys want us to decorate a cookie? You know what? I don't want to hide my cutie patootie little Mickey, so I'm not going to use the black. But look how cute my little taggy with the, with the little Mickey clip. And I got my cookie. Um, so this one, again, that was used to to do that. And I just filled it with the royal icing. And it says Merry Christmas. And it's got my little Mickey ears on it. And I've got a few others that, I, that still need a tag. Eek, they're so cute. Um, and Or you can decide to just kind of add it with one of the clippies. Also, if you don't want to wrap it around. You've got the little clippy options. I just think it kind of ends up hiding. So you're, I'm going to actually punch it, but you can decide. Yes, everybody is excited to see a stamp on a cookie. That would be so Yeah, fun. it's pretty cool, actually. Um, I mean, it is really fun, but it would be fun to show them. Yeah, I think you guys will enjoy it. Some of these cookies are a little bit fatter, but I love how they turned out and I love adding the little tag component. And I love bringing in the little admit one. Look how cute they are. So you've got the admit one and you've got this guy individually wrapped. Um, uno mas, sorry, I haven't finished this one. This one has not been uh, Splatter. splattered. So you can of course leave it with the splatter, not at the splatter, totally up to you. And I'm gonna go a little bit wider on this one just because. This one has really big ears. We need to fit the cello around the cookie. And it's going to have the castle. Check it out, guys. Claudia super says that this is super cute. adorable. Love it, love it, love it. Again, it's a great way to showcase not just your hand stamped goods, but you know, especially if you like to um, gift something that you baked or a baked good or a cookie. Obviously the cookies don't have to be as fancy pants as these, but you know, just any cookie. I think a, an adorable little treat to leave on someone's desk or an, with a neighbor. I agree with Nancy Brown. She said those cookies are too cute to eat. I know, but they are <laughs> super good. There we go. This one was stuck in the back. Um, but look how adorable these little Mickeys are. <laughs> I want him, I want him, I want him. Ooh, I just had a fancy pants idea. Give me a minute. Don't go anywhere. You're going to add more? What? I just want to see if something works. Give me a second. I just, you know, I have stamps now, so. Jen says, you have so much ideas. Thank you for sharing. Who <laughs> said? Jen. I have one more. Just give me a second. I'm going to try something. Um, you need to know, guys, I think it's so funny when he's working on something and then he's like, ooh, like right now, like all of a sudden he gets a, an idea. Yeah, I'm like, wait, I wonder <laughs> if, I wonder if, I'm going to see if I can do, like, I'm going to see if I can kiss my stamp. You're going to kiss your stamp? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if I can do a double whammy. Ooh, unless. Ooh, hold up. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, yeah, where's my um, simple sort of pie? Mm, Is it over there? Yes. Unless I'm going to do a ghosting technique. Give me a second. Oh, <laughs> Give me a sec. 
Give me some. But in the meantime, check out how cute my tags are. Look at, look at, look at. Look at these little Mickey tags. Now, you could have also done, I'm going to do it real quick just so you know what I'm talking about. But you could have also done, okay, let me. But if I do it here, I'm going to do it on, on the, nope, don't have that either. Okay, I'm going to try it just, let me just move this. Oh, I'll show you later. Um, let me first start here. Um, and I'm going to use what we're now going to call our simple syrup cube, simple syrup cube. And I'm going to grab my stamp here. And I'm going to simple syrup this guy. I don't know. I haven't done this in years, guys. So give me a sec. I want to see if I can get... So I simple syrup that one. Ooh. Oh, wait, we can't really see it. And I'm going to bring this guy a little bit lower. Let's see if this works. It used to. Um, so you can kind of see the ghosting. I'm going to do it one more time. Hopefully it doesn't go all the way out. I'm gonna do it one more time. <laughs> All right, so you can see that it's creating a ghosting technique for the for the ponceria in the background. Is that better? Mm -hmm. So it's there, but it's very faint. It's like a little ghost. It's like. And as, it, and as it continues to dry, it's only going to get darker and darker and darker and like darker. Like the will pop. More. Yeah, it's going to continue to pop a little bit more. So let me just kind of clean this guy off. So again, if you wanted to do these and have the poinsettia not just on the ears, but also uh, a little bit represented in the actual head, in the Mickey head, the circle, you can do that. I'm going to try, I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to show you um, how you can come back and do an outline on this. And that's just kind of kind of do, I'm going to come back and just edge the circles. I'm going to kind of clean that off here. You just want to edge the circles. in hopes that all we're gonna get is an outline of some sort. And we did it. We got a very, very fun, dark outline there in the black. Um, so it just kind of creates that, look, do you see the ghosting on that? Mm -hmm. Yay, Yay, that was fun. That was super fun. Oh, they're loving everything you're showing. They're like, yay, even Jen's like, focus. But that was earlier when I guess you were getting all these ideas and she's like, focus, focus. All right, super adorable. Anyway, super fun way to create that ghosting technique. Just using your simple syrup uh, sugar cube and, um, and creating that you can see the ponceria as it continues to dry, it starts to get, the impression starts to come a little bit more and more and more and more. Um, so that would have been a great way to um, tie them all together, although I think they look super adorable um, without it. Uh, but we got the little Merry Christmas tag on there and we did a little rogue stamping. So super exciting, guys. Again, amazing opportunities, amazing ideas to be able to bring creativity to life. And thanks again for sticking around for all the wonkiness and the bad cutting and the, yeah, um, total amateur uh, brother scan and cut experience. But I hope that we brought a little bit of inspiration your way as you're getting closer and closer and closer to Christmas and you're creating those gifts for those special peeps in your life. Uh, make sure that you bring them to life a little bit 
sharing a little bit more of your passion for paper crafting. Um, ultimately, the more we practice our craft, the better we're going to get at it. So thanks again for joining me tonight, guys. I hope you had fun. I hope we've inspired you. I cannot wait to see you back again on Thursday, where it sounds like we might do a little bit of cookie stamping. <gasps> a little bit of cookie stamping. Let's see if we can try it live um, for the very first time. And again, I can't wait to see you. For those of you who are in my card club, I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Thanks again for joining us. Remember to continue to create and capture so that we can bring hope to those around us. Thanks again. Buenas noches.